We are down in the food forest today looking at soil health. We've been looking at soil health all month and it's coincided with British Soil Week and British Science Week. So there's several different things that we do with our soil throughout the year. So let's take a look. There's a few things you can do before you start planting to check your soil condition. You can see if your soil is a sandy soil or a clay soil and you check that by seeing how quickly it drains. A sandy soil lacks nutrients because it just gets washed away so quickly while a clay soil may retain too much water and then it's also slow to warm up. We add lots of organic matter. So you can see in the food forest, I'm adding cardboard and then leaves that we've collected all the way back in, in autumn. So these have been sitting in a bag that you see at the beginning. And we have just started to add these. Usually they get added a lot earlier over winter, but things happen and it's been a bit delayed this year. So they get put on and that is essential for improving the soil structure, fertility and moisture retention. This is a section that has had it on for the last two winters. So it's had the cardboard and it's had the leaf mulch on. And there's now a cover crop of strawberries running across it. You can see that there's still some twigs in there. There's still some cardboard that hasn't broken down. But underneath, the soil is really deep and dark and healthy. So this process works really well. So this is now the third year that this has gone on. And we will carry on doing this as long as it's necessary. Leaf mulch is a great way to contain any of that extra moisture that you have during the rainy season and it just releases it a lot slower. You can check your drainage by digging a hole about 30 centimetres wide, 30 centimetres deep, fill it with water right to the top and see how slowly it drains. It should be about a day that you'll see a good drainage. Another thing you can do to test your soil is to get yourself a pH soil test kit. This test kit I, I got comes with two little tubes and you put the soil in, it's already got some powder in, fill it up with water and you give it a good shake and let it settle. This took a good few days to settle but when it did you can finally see exactly what colour it is. We tested some soil from our blueberries and from our food forest so we expected our blueberries to leave a little bit more acid than the other one. The last thing to do with soil health is before you plant any of your seeds in your trays, give it a really good sift. This makes the soil really silky and soft and it makes sure that your roots can get going really easily. Clayton absolutely loved this task. He thought it was really fun watching it fly out the bottom and leave him with all the big chunkier bits that we just threw back in our builder's sack ready to use somewhere else. He really enjoyed this.